Hi everybody. So this is a, the first lesson for the differentiation part. So this is the good stuff. This is proper maths. Proper A-level maths, that's what we want. We've got five lessons. It'll take us through pretty much to Christmas, I would have thought. So the first bit is, it's talking about gradients of a curve. So the gradient constantly changes. And what I'll do is I'll, you can, I'll show you in, in the class, you can kind of drag a point around the curve. The gradient moves with it. Um, so the tangent just touches a curve at a single point. So if we had to draw a tangent, or had to um, work out the gradient of a tangent before we'd done differentiation, we would follow this method here of drawing it and then doing a little triangle. Now I'm going to be absolutely rubbish at doing this. Um, so I'm going to try, I'll try to use the, the line to do it, but it might not work. So I'll put the line on. So what I want, I'm going to find the gradient at one, so I'm going to do a line. That's not too bad, I guess. Going that way. So I need to move my line. Hang on, put it back on there. So I want that. That looks all right. Right then. So if I look at that tangent there, so that's going through the point x is 1. I could draw a triangle to work out what its gradient is. 2 over 1. So that would give me a gradient there. The gradient is 2. Right, so what I want you to do, very quickly, is do similar. I want you to do it at... Ooh, where should we do it at? Let's do it at, for here, let's do it for x is a half. So you draw a tangent line on. Try and get some nice, a nice triangle and work out the gradient. If you do it for, maybe I should try. Let's do it here at x is zero. So draw a triangle tangent on that one. So we're like, we'll draw a triangle. And then we'll try it at, where shall we go? Let's go x is 1. So you draw tangents on and draw your triangles. There. So you can pause it and do it, but I'm just going to keep on going. <clears throat> right then. So differentiation finds the gradient of a tangent to a curve at a point. So we're going to write that somewhere here. So differentiation... Finds the gradient. So all that stuff we just do in drawing triangles. Eh, don't need it. Gradient of a tangent to a curve at a specific point. If I wanted to. Or what it can do is give me an equation for finding gradients anywhere. The notation is either dy by dx, if I've started with y, or f dashed of x, if I've started with f of x. And what I do, the, the whole thing to do in this, is I put the power at the front, And I take one off the power. So I'm not going to do this box just yet. I'm just going to do a couple of these examples of it. So it's a y, so the notation says dy by dx. I follow my little wheel that I put there, which you can't see, which is put the power at the front, so that's 5, and then take one off the power. So that's 4, x to the 4. So there's one there for you to have a go at. So I'll do it again, so dy by dx. The 2 is just a scaling number. So I put the power at the front, and I take 1 off the power. 
And the twos will cancel there, won't they? So dy by dx will be 3x to the half. So there's one there for you to have a go at. So I've done it with a whole number, I've done it with a fraction, and now I'm going to do the negative number. Exactly the same. But this time I'm using f of x, so I'm going to do f dash of x. So the 3 is just a scaling number, just stays there. So I'll put the power at the front, minus 4, take her off the power, minus 5. So f dash of x is actually minus 12 x to the minus 5. <clears throat> now I can do it with lots of them, but I just do it individually. So my x cubed becomes 3 x squared. Then I've got a minus 2 times by my 2x becomes 2x to the power 1. Oof, now this one's harder. The 3x. It's 3 times by. Now that's x to the power 1. So it'll be 1x to the power 0. And x to the power 0 is 1. So it just kind of disappears. The minus 2 bit, that's really minus 2x to the 0. So it'll just go, that one. So we'll kind of come back to them in more detail. But if it was a 15x, it becomes a 15. If it was a 15, it becomes 0. So we'll come back more to these ones, to the end ones there, because people get a little bit caught up in them. But it's 3x squared minus 4x plus 3. And then this last one, so dy by dx, will be 5 over 2, put the power at the front, take one off the power is 3 over 2, plus 3 times by, oops, let's put the power at the front is minus 2, take one off the power is minus 3. And you can tidy that up as 5 over 2, x to the 3 over 2, minus 6, x to the minus 3. So then in the examples, I put the power at the front, I take one off the power. All these equations here are called gradient functions. And we find the gradient of a tangent anywhere on the curve. So I'm just going to reveal these so you can do it. So that should be, put the power at the front with a 7, and then take one off the power, so it should be 14x to the 6, which it is. The next one... There you go. So put the power at the front. It's 4 times 5 over 2, which is 10. Take one off the power, 3 over 2. Put the power at the front. It should give us a minus 10. Take one off the power is minus 3. Do each one individually. So you've got 3 times 5x to the 4. You've got a minus 4 times 3x squared. You've got a 6 times 1 lot of x to the 0, and the minus 1 goes. And then you've got the last one here which is put a half at the front, so it's 4 times a half is 2, take them off the power, and then minus 5 times minus 3, x to the minus 4. The bit that was missing up here is the what happens to it. So the k is just a number, I put the power at the front, so I've got an m, and then I take 1 off the power, and that's the same for this. And then this talks about if it was just, say, like a 3x, then dy by dx would just be the 3. And if it was a number, then dy by dx is 0. There's more to it, but I'll talk to you about that in class. Right, so that's the first bit done to cover today. See you in a minute.